Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing another one of my mini reviews. Lately I've been using this piece of equipment here a lot. This is a signal tracer injector. It's made by a company called Sansei and this is model number 6100. Now I bought this like a long time ago and I think they're still made nowadays or something or were made um, after this by a different company. I guess they licensed it out and I found this thing to be pretty handy or any anything like this uh, if you can get a signal tracer or signal injector back in the day there used to be like even handheld ones where you could like probe around with but they don't seem to be used that much no more I guess they've fallen into um, um, basically they have just kind of faded out I would say um, I don't know why maybe it's because like these if, if it's if you're using it as a signal injector you're stuck with a single frequency which really though isn't that bad because like with this unit here um, this just takes a 9 volt this just this thing just takes a 9 volt battery here and once you put that basically in your business and also you can here's a, a jack where it takes 9 volt basically 9 volt DC, DC. now I don't have the instruction manual no more for it, but it's pretty basically pretty easy to use. Um, and I did get two cables with it. One of them is the this is the I would call it the injector that plugs into here. And once you got that plugged in, I'll demonstrate in a second. It puts out a square wave. I think it's a thousand hertz um, square wave. I've never really used this part um, just until like yesterday and then I did notice it didn't work. What happened is uh, I bought this at, an, as far as I can remember, I bought this at an electronic store and I'm not sure whether this is the original cable that came with it or inject, injection cable that came with it or the company, the store I bought it with actually included this. Anyways, it was soldered together wrong. Um, they had the signal on the ground backwards and also it had a a break I had to go ahead and shorten the cable that was for the injection part and here is the tracer probe and of course this here this is the basically the ground clip and this thing just lets you probe around you can see I put the tape on here because uh, you know you do slip and I've never seen anybody, if you do, if you work on electronics a lot, um, you know, if, if you don't, if you don't short anything out here and there, I guess you're not really doing anything then, you know. Um, now, there are other units kind of like this I've seen before. I think Heathkit makes some, I'm not sure whether those run on, where you have to have line voltage or they run on batteries, but I know there's some like this. Occasionally these units will come on eBay or something close to this will come on eBay. They will be offered for sale and they're not really expensive. There's other companies that make them too. I would um, definitely recommend getting something like this. If I want to go over here the controls real quick, it's got a VU meter. A lot of times these units don't have VU meters, um, then you just got to rely on your ear. Say if you want to know the amplitude difference between two signals, uh, just relying on your ear sometimes, that won't cut it. With this here, you can see exactly the strength of the, basically the strength of the signal. And you can have it on VU meter only if you want. And you can have it on dual. That means there's going to have sound coming out of the speaker. And you can see something on the VU meter, which is really handy. Then you can have you can just use just the internal speaker. And here you can hook up an external speaker too, which is right there. In fact, you can hook up an 8 ohm external speaker. That could also be used, for example, to test a speaker. Uh, yeah, if you if you will. Um this is the input here that you use that one like when you're tracing you just plug this where is this thing at here this goes into here like that and that's basically it this cable's a little bit frayed right there one of these days I am gonna have to fix that right here if I can take this thing apart without busting it 
and here it's got the output too. You can use this basically as like a preamplifier. Um, the input signal goes in here and the output signal goes of course comes out of right there if for whatever reason you want to do that if you wanted to amplify a really a real low level um, signal um, which I guess you could probably also hook it up then yeah to an oscilloscope or something if the signals too low um, and you have an attenuator here it goes all the way down to minus 60 dB sometimes the signal is um, if it's too strong you can just go ahead and turn this down easily like that also what else can I think of off the top of my head since I don't have the instruction uh, manual anymore yeah right um, you can use this uh, it says AF that's audio frequency that's what you're gonna be that's what I use basically whenever I use this unit I only use the tracer and this but and here it says RF that's of course is uh, um, anything anything high frequency I don't know how high this thing goes um, but I guess what I could do now is feed in a modulated AM signal and uh, see what comes comes out okay let me go ahead and just hook this thing up and get the oscilloscope turned on so in order for example to use the injector part we just plug that in then you turn this on and here you can there's the LED as a visual indicator so you know that you're using it this is also handy if you um, forget to shut it off because then sooner or later you're going to run on the batteries which has even though it's got an LED here um, to show you that's on which has happened to me before so now here's the um, signal coming out let me just show the signal and here's the square wave that I was talking about here. You can see that easily. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, show the tracer part. So now to demonstrate the tracer. i um, got the AM FM generator hooked up and I'm going to be feeding in the AM signal. Um, basically I'm going to be feeding the amplitude modulated signal. One megahertz here and that's going to be modulated by 400 hertz so now we should I got to put this in the RF position which it already is okay see that obviously works oh now this is just uh, basically a visual indication of what came out of that um, signal that sensei signal tracer you can see here this is the modulated um, basically that what this is, is a modulated signal and what I did now is I was using a I think it was one megahertz as a carrier now I'm using 500,000 Hertz which is basically half of that and what else did I do I think I I changed the internal frequency to 400 400 Hertz of course the 500,000 Hertz or earlier the 1 million Hertz that was being used as basically as the carrier that basically carries that lower carries that lower audio frequency which um, here in my with my big signal generator here that I'm using now uh, I've got a choice of either 400 or 1000 Hertz coming out this is a Panasonic unit um, and here you can see that the positive and negative uh, uh, are present at the same time. Of course, if we were to feed a signal directly into a loudspeaker, we wouldn't hear anything because the positive and negative, of course, would cancel each other out. What I'm trying to say is that uh, that sand size signal tracer has got a detector in there. And that basically is going to remove, like this here, that's going to remove basically half of that. And you can see right above here, there's that there is that audio signal that's what's um, I think I forgot to mention that I just I think I just said that you can use it for RF uh, to make for RF signals basically and um, it's got circuitry in there for that that's what we use that for now 
you can't use this for for FM um, for frequency modulate signals in the, F, in the FM and IF sections you probably wouldn't hear anything coming out so, so I've got my leader audio generator hooked up I'm gonna be feeding in a 400 Hertz unmodulated signal this is just a regular audio frequency here um, 400 Hertz and let's go ahead and turn this thing on okay that was that here you can also you can see I can use the attenuator to turn things down so anyways um, thanks for watching and if you can pick one of these things up um, they're not very expensive um, these are made by different companies throughout the years I don't know if they're still made at the moment they probably some companies making these maybe um, if not if you don't like working with it you can always of course uh, sell it again so yeah just keep that in mind this thing can come in handy